Okay, so what is up, everybody? I'm going to be talking about intermittent fasting. So this live stream right here before your eyes is everything you pretty much want to know about fasting. Whether you are following a fasting schedule right now or you're thinking about doing some intermittent fasting, in this video, I'm going to break down five ways to practice fasting and five amazing benefits of fasting from fat loss to brain function to hormones to fighting disease and so much more. So I have some great slides for you. I have a great presentation for you. And this is going to be such a powerful video for anybody who wants to do fasting the right way. When it comes to fasting, we got to understand that fasting is a powerful tool. A chainsaw is a powerful tool. A chainsaw could get the job done, get you amazing results. So can fasting. A chainsaw could hurt you and maybe even damage the body if you don't know what you're doing. Same thing with fasting. So I'm going to break it all down for you, give you a little bit of a brief history lesson of fasting, give you five amazing benefits of fasting, and then how to implement it into your daily schedule. Sound good? Hope you're doing amazing here on YouTube. Let me know where in the world you're watching from on YouTube. Please put your city, put your state, put your country in the chat box. I want to know where you're tuning in from right now. I'm, be I'm here in beautiful Miami, Florida at Keto Camp HQ. So let me share my screen with you on YouTube and break this all down for you. So you should be able to see my screen now. All right, so when it comes to fasting, first of all, there are three of the biggest influencers in the history of this world. We have Jesus Christ, the prophet, the prophet Muhammad, and Buddha. Now, they didn't agree on, agree on everything and all religions don't agree on everything and we're not talking about religion here, but we are talking about this. They agreed on one thing, the power of fasting. So fasting has been around since the dawn of humankind. It's spoken about in every single religion, different variations of it. So we have it in the history books, but then we have people who are telling you, hey, you got to eat every two to three hours. We have Tony the Tiger telling you, hey, you got to eat breakfast because it's great. So are we going to believe Tony the Tiger, Kellogg's General Meals, or are we going to believe history? Okay. I know you're with me. So let's break that down real quick. One of my favorite quotes comes from Hippocrates, the father of medicine. He, he said, to eat when you are sick is to feed the sickness, All right? When you're giving yourself food energy, when you're sick, your body has to process that food instead of healing the body, All right? We knew this from a long, long time ago. Then we have Pythagoras, who I wrote about in my book, The Fasting Cheat Sheet. Pythagoras was a amazing Greek mathematician, he would have his students systematically fast for up to 40 days before they could even enter his course. Because he knew, he knew that when they entered their, his course in a fasted state, they were going to be producing ketones. He didn't know that back then, but they were producing ketones and they were firing on all cylinders, ready to crush his class. So fasting has been around forever. And I want to break this down so you understand that it's not new. Although, yes, Fasting is one of the top search terms on Dr. Google. It's a fad. It's a trend. People say it's all that. It's not a fad. It's a fact. And I'm giving you a brief history lesson here before I go into the benefits and how to use it. I have a question for you. Do you know the Guinness World Record for the longest recorded water fast? What do you think it is? In the comment section on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, what do you think the Guinness World Record is for the longest recorded water fast? What do you think it is? Let me go on YouTube and see the answers here. What do you think? So we have, uh, first of all, we have Southern California. We have Quebec in the house. We have Delaware. We have Houston, Texas. We have uh, Warrington, Virginia. Hey, Stacy. We have Francis in Indiana. We have Germany in the house. We have Stacy for the first time. What's up, Stacy? We have Canada, Wales, UK. Ontario, we have Utah, Bountiful Utah, Indiana, Debs in Wayne, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Okay, so I see the guests coming in. I see 365 days, 84 days, 401 days, 387 days, 360 days. What about Instagram? I don't see you guessing. Uh, Ralph says, hey, Ralph says 365 days. What do you think it is? What do you think it is, guys and gals? You're very close. You're very close. So the Guinness World Record for the longest recorded water fast is 300 in 82 days. All right. So you got really close. I think Deb's got the closest at 387. Uh, a couple of you said it's 365. Yeah. 
382 days. So yeah, about 13 months. Okay, so it was this morbidly obese uh, person from Scot uh, Scotland. I wrote him about, about him in my book. His name was Angus Burberry, and he went on a medically supervised water fast. All right, that's an important word right there. Medically supervised water fast for 382 days. And he went from 450 pounds to 180 pounds. He didn't have any loose skin, excess skin. Autophagy took care of that, which we'll talk about in this video, autophagy. He didn't have, I mean, his electrolytes look great. His blood markers look great. He felt great. Look, this is an extreme example to show you. The body knows what to do. We eat food. We store that food energy in our body fat. So when we don't eat food, we pull out that body fat for energy. It's a survival mechanism. The body knows what to do. It is okay not to stuff your mouth full of donuts or muffins or bagels, bagels or protein bars every two to three hours. You will survive. <laughs> so I wanted to paint that picture for you. So let me go back to my slides here. And if you're just joining in, please put in the comment section where you are watching from in this on this beautiful Wednesday. I'm here in Miami, Florida at Keto Camp HQ. All right, so great answers, everybody. I'm glad you participated. So let's break down five benefits, five amazing benefits of fasting. Number one, fasting is a powerful fat loss tool. Whether you want to lose those last five pounds that are so hard to get rid of, or you want to lose 200 pounds, fasting is a powerful tool to help you accomplish that. Why? Well, here's an example. Here's an analogy I got from one of my mentors, Dr. Jason Fung, who's been on the Keto Cam podcast a few times. He's been on this YouTube channel a few times. Brilliant, brilliant guy. He has written the book, The Obesity Code, The Diabetes Code, Complete Guide to Fasting. He has a new cookbook out. Here's his analogy. We eat food and we store that food energy on our body in the form of our sugar reserves called glycogen. We store that in our muscle and our liver. We only store about 2,000 calories of these sugar reserves. So I want you to compare that to a wallet. A wallet, you pull out of your purse, you pull out of your pocket, you, get you put cash into your wallet, you get cash out. It's very easy access, quick access. Think of that as your sugar reserves, your muscle and your liver. But there is a problem with this. It has a limited storage capacity. You could only store X amount of money in your wallet. You could only store about 2,000 calories in these sugar reserves in your body. So what's the deal here? How do we switch over to our fat stores? Well, I'm going to compare the fat stores that we have on our body to your bank safe down the street. It's a longer process to get to that bank safe. You got to go and drive to the bank. You got to sit in line. You got to show documentation. And then voila, you have access to your bank account. Think of your fat stores, your body fat stores as your bank account. The cool thing about your bank account though, it has almost unlimited stores inside of your bank account, your bank safe. So what does that mean? That means you could actually have and start pulling out more fat. You could actually go longer without food and your body will start burning the fat that you have on your body, which is what we want, especially if you have some extra weight to lose. So that's what I'm talking about here. We want to make sure we go and we deplete our sugar reserves. When you start to fast, your body's going to use up your sugar reserves. It's going to deplete your 2,000 calories. And then all of a sudden, you have access to your fat stores, to your bank account. That's what we want. That is an amazing process. We were designed to do this. Now, the second benefit of fasting, it helps you accomplish metabolic flexibility. I just explained what metabolic flexibility was. That is the ability to go back and forth to burn your sugar reserves and then burn fat. Now, I'm a big, big believer in the keto diet. My company is Keto Camp. I believe we were designed to burn fat for fuel. We want to burn fat as our primary fuel source, but here's the deal. Not our only fuel source. We want the ability to burn fat and then sometimes burn sugar and go back and forth without a hiccup. Most people don't have this metabolic flexibility, so they start to deplete their sugar reserves, that wallet, and all of a sudden, they don't have metabolic flexibility, and their body starts to panic. Their brain sends a signal to go get sugar, go get carbs. Their body breaks down protein to create gluconeogenesis, and that's a problem. Well, fasting will help you accomplish this metabolic flexibility, okay? That is key. If you want to live a long, healthy life, if you want to achieve what I call perfect health, live to 120 years old, disease-free, high quality of life, 
lean with amazing energy levels, amazing vitality, then the ticket to that is metabolic flexibility. And that is what you accomplish with fasting. So that's the second benefit, amazing benefit of fasting. You're welcome, Aiden. I'm glad you're enjoying it, brother. Okay, the third benefit is that intermittent fasting helps to fight cancer, helps to fight disease. How does that work? Well, I'm going to explain it all down to you, um, all for you right now. I want you to think of your body as the refrigerator you have in your kitchen right now. This refrigerator has groceries inside of it that have an expiration date, right? You see the juice here? Best used by this specific date. You see the broccoli, you see the strawberries, you see there's probably some more stuff in your fridge. Uh, every grocery has an expiration date. Now, what's going to happen, Keto Camper, if instead of letting those groceries expire, so let's say those groceries expire, but instead of throwing them into the trash, you kind of let them just sit there rotten. Every grocery expires, but instead of throwing them away, you push them towards the back of the fridge. What's going to happen? Well, I'll tell you what, it's going to be a toxic environment, disease, bacteria. It's going to be nasty. Would you agree? Well, the human body is like this refrigerator. You have cells, you have mitochondria, you have protein, you have damaged DNA, these senescent cells, these zombie cells that are expired. And if you don't take the time to throw away the trash, to recycle these cells, disease, bacteria, and nasty things begin to happen. So the human body is amazing because it turns on this switch called autophagy. And if you've been following my work, you know all about autophagy. The Nobel Prize winner in 2016, he won the Nobel Prize for his breakthrough research in autophagy. The definition of autophagy means self-eating. Eat thyself. Think of Pac-Man going within your cells, eating up these damaged groceries, these damaged particles, because the body requires 70 billion cells every single day that need to be recycled. Cells are like cars. When they get old, they need to be destroyed. Up to 70 billion per day need to be recycled. When you practice intermittent fasting, guess what happens? Your body turns on this autophagy switch and it's so sophisticated, you have this innate intelligence, and it goes and gets the damaged stuff, the nasty stuff first. This is why world-renowned oncologist, Dr. Thomas Seafried, who is from Boston College, he wrote the book, A Metabolic Approach to Cancer, or actually, no, he wrote the book, Cancer as a Metabolic Disease. He has been quoted as saying that if you were to complete a seven-day water-only fast once per year, you would reduce your chances of any cancer by up to 95%, okay? Because your body's going to achieve this maximum autophagy. And I teach all about this in my Keto Camp Academy. So that's the third benefit. You are able to activate autophagy and recycle damaged cells. That's my favorite benefit so far. All right, next benefit. Benefit number four of intermittent fasting, fasting in general, you get an increase in energy. A lot of people think, oh, how am I going to have energy if I'm not eating food? I got news for you. Food does not give you energy. It does the complete opposite. It takes massive amounts of energy, resources, and blood flow to digest food, to take food from macronutrients to micronutrients, to distribute it all throughout the body. It takes up to 14 hours to process a standard American diet, aka a stupid American diet. So what if you are not eating food? Well, now you have all, these, all this energy, all of these resources, and it's being used to give you an amazing day to crush the task at hand, a meeting, a sales call, a workout, whatever it is, your body is so sophisticated. It actually raises something called counter regulatory hormones. So when somebody says, how do you have energy when you fast? Well, here's how you would explain it to them. And I'm going to explain it to you right now. The body is very smart. All it wants to do is survive. So let's say you're going on a 16 hour fast. The body's going to start to think, oh crap, it's been 16 hours and we haven't eaten food. We are in a famish. I need to keep this body alert, alive, driven, energized, and focused to go out there into the wild and hunt and kill our next meal in order to stay alive. The body thinks this way. You know, it doesn't care. It doesn't know. It's hardwired for the old school. The body doesn't care that you could go on your cell phone, press a button for your Uber Eats app, and then you have a millennial knocking on your door 30 minutes later with food. It doesn't understand that. 
You see, the body is hardwired for the old school. All 70 trillion cells that you have are hardwired for the old school. So what does it do? It raises something called counter-regulatory hormones. These hormones run counter to insulin. So when you're not eating food, insulin is down. Insulin is your fat storage hormone. So it's at baseline, which is great, which means you're burning fat. So the body raises cortisol. It activates your sympathetic tone. Cortisol, glucagon, epinephrine, and here's a big one, human growth hormone. Human growth hormone is fat burning. Human growth hormone is anti-aging. In fact, celebrities pay thousands of dollars every single month to get human growth hormone injected into them. You don't have to do that. The body raises human growth hormone naturally. In fact, the study showed a 2,000% increase in human growth hormone in men after a 24-hour fast and a 1,300% increase in human growth hormone after a 24-hour fast in women. Your body is literally pumping you full of energy, giving you energy, giving you focus. So you're going to notice an increase in energy levels when you practice fasting the right way. Pretty cool, right? All right. I have one more benefit for you. Uh, and then I'm going to teach you how to practice intermittent fasting in your day-to-day -day schedule. And then I'm going to also teach you what to eat when you are not fasting. Before I get to that, over here on YouTube, please smash that thumbs up button on this channel. Please also let me know if you just joined where in the world you're watching from. And if you're not subscribed to the Keto Camp YouTube channel, we release a brand new video on this channel every other day, all about keto, fasting, performance, and longevity. So if you're interested in any of that, you're definitely in the right spot. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and hit the little bell so you're notified when I go live, when I release a new video, when I premiere things. So please hit that thumbs up button if you haven't done so already. Kay, uh, Kelly, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'm glad you were able to fix the sound. Gerald, Sarah, hey, Jay Gotti, good to see you. Olya, uh, Isla, good to see everybody on here. All right, let's get to that last benefit here. It optimizes your hormones. I mean, when it comes to health, when it comes to fat loss, when it comes to living a long life, it's not about calories in versus calories out. It's not about that. That's a huge distraction because nobody has a weight problem. They have a weight symptom. The real issue are the hormones and the metabolism. So when you practice intermittent fasting, it helps your hormones become more sensitive. Why is that a good thing? Well, when your hormones are more sensitive, they can actually get into your cells more efficiently. Your fat-burning hormones, all eight of them that we know of, can get into your cells more efficiently, so you burn fat. Your thyroid hormone, T3, could get into your cells, and you have more energy. You feel damn good. It optimizes your hormones. When it comes to things like insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes, the issue there is these hormones are becoming desensitized. So when intermittent fasting is implemented, you have sensitive hormones. Your hormones could do the job more efficiently. It's like somebody yelling at me. I have my fingers in my ears, and then all of a sudden I practice fasting. It's like taking my fingers out of my ears. Oh, I could actually hear you. Oh, your cells could actually hear the hormones. It could get the nutrients from the food. It could get the oxygen into the cells. Why is that significant? Well, when that happens, you feel like a rock star. You feel damn good. Katie, good to see you on here. I, I've been missing you on the calls. We got to catch up, Katie. Uh, Queens, New York. Awesome. So that's the fifth benefit. It optimizes your hormones. Now, let's talk about some myths about intermittent fasting, and then I'm going to teach you how to practice intermittent fasting and fasting in general. So here are some myths I'm going to debunk for you. And I talk a lot about these myths on my... Um, my fasting cheat sheet. So I have my copies there. I should have had it in front of me. But if you go to fastingcheatsheet.com, you could get my best selling book for absolutely free, 100% free, fastingcheatsheet.com. All right. So let's talk about starvation mode. Is that actually a thing? Well, when somebody tells you when you fast or skip a meal, you're going to go into starvation mode, I want you to ask them if they know about counter regulatory hormones. A little while ago, I explained what they are. They're going to tell you, no, what's that? The reason you don't slow down your metabolism or go into this mythical starvation mode with fasting is because because of counter-regulatory hormones. The body's not stupid. It wants to survive. In fact, a study showed a 13% increase in the metabolism after a four-day fast. I'm going to say that again. A study showed a 13% increase in the metabolism after a four-day fast fast. Why? Because of counter-regulatory hormones. All right, so let's debunk that once and for all. Will I lose muscle 
when I fast. I used to own a CrossFit gym. I used to get this all the time. Ben, I'm working out so hard when I fast, I'm going to lose all this hard-earned muscle. The body's not stupid. It's not going to store fat for use of energy, and then when the chips are down, burn muscle. The body will not burn your muscle for fuel until you get to 5% body fat or less. That's freakishly low. I'm not even at 5% body fat. I've never been at 5% body fat. That's like saying, if, you're, if somebody's telling you you're going to use muscle during a fast and, and lose all your muscle, it's so silly. And the comparison I'm going to give you is that's like storing firewood all summer long because you're getting ready for a cold winter month, right? So that firewood is your body fat. And now winter rolls around, you're doing your fast and you need to use that firewood, but you chop up your couch and throw that into the furnace instead. That's the same thing. If you're saying you're storing body fat for energy and then you burn muscle when the chips are down, it sounds ridiculous, right? So the body will not burn muscle. Let's put that myth to bed. The second reason why it won't burn muscle, by the way, is those counter regulatory hormones, human growth hormone. I gave you the stats, 2000% increase after a 24 hour fast in men, 1300% increase in women. Human growth hormone, human growth hormone is muscle preserving, muscle protecting. So the body's not stupid. You're not going to lose the body fat. All right. So let's talk about what to do before you even begin fasting, because you heard all about the benefits. I just broke it down for you. I highly recommend you get keto adapted before because you won't experience all these benefits that I just broke down with you, with you until you're keto adapted. Uh, failing to, pre to prepare is preparing to fail, said John Wooden. So I recommend following a keto diet. Look, in my Keto Camp Academy, I have a 28-day keto jumpstart guide to get you fat adapted, keto adapted within 28 days so you could start practicing fasting. And I have a section all about fasting in there as well. If you go to ketocampacademy.com, you could start off with a seven-day trial for free. So how do you begin fasting? Once you're keto adapted, I'm going to give you some popular methods here. Here are some different types of intermittent fasting. We have intermittent fasting. We have block fasting. Jay Gotti, good to see you on here, brother. Jay Gotti's in the academy. So is Katie. Um, let's talk about intermittent fasting. This it could be a good daily approach. My favorite intermittent fasting, intermittent fasting schedule is an 18-6, meaning 18 hours out of the day, you're fasting. You're just having some water. You're having some sea salt. You're having maybe some coffee and tea, but you're not eating food. You're not raising glucose and insulin. Six hours out of the day, you're feasting. So 18-6. That's my favorite schedule. I think most people could follow that. Let's say you have a lot of weight to lose. Let's say you want to be preventative here with disease. Well, then I like something like a block fast. A block fast means three or more days in a fasted state. And I teach the members of the Keto Camp Academy how to do this safely, how to break the fast also safely. I also have a lot of videos on this YouTube channel about block fasting, about fasting in general. So make sure you check out the links down below, explore the channel. I have a fasting playlist and you can learn more about that. Now, what do you eat when you're not fasting? You guessed it. You're eating a ketogenic type of diet. You're eating high healthy fats, wild caught salmon, walnuts, olives, raw nuts and seeds, avocados, avocado oil, raw grass fed cheese. That's fine. That should be the bulk with a whole bunch of green leafy vegetables in your diet. That's going to help keep glucose and insulin low. You're going to turn into a, uh, an amazing human being because you're going to be feeling so vibrant. I can't tell you what this will do for your health if you follow it the right way. Look, I want to help you with this. If this is a lot of information and it's somewhat confusing to you, I have it all outlined for you in the Keto Camp Academy. And in the Keto Camp Academy, there is 108 videos in the Academy right now. And if you go and sign up, you could get in there with this, a free seven-day trial and you could learn about keto, about fasting. I have sections on sleep. I have sections on um, fat loss 101. I have fitness workouts, and you also get a monthly coaching call with me and over $600 worth in keto meal plans, keto grocery shopping list, and you also get all my books, okay? It's about a buck a day to be a member, and you could cancel any time, but I want you to try it for free, a seven, a free seven-day trial over at ketocampacademy.com. Somebody's asking, Stacy's asking about, yeah, I put it in there, fastingcheatsheet.com. That's correct. All right, so let me see what questions you have for me before I sign off here. If this was helpful on YouTube, please smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. Let me know that this is helpful for you. And uh, let me see what questions we have. So, hey, Jax, I made it. Good morning, everybody. Good to see you. Fat fasting is great. That's a good option. I do that all the time. Robert, 
that's when you just have 100% fat. So like coffee and butter, uh, coffee or and coconut oil. Eggs is a healthy fat. It can be if it's a uh, healthy eggs. Yes, Aiden. Cool. So let's see what questions we have. And Annie, good to see you on here. Laura, by the way, I have an announcement. I posted this on my Facebook earlier today. Huge announcement. I'm going to be a speaker at Paleo FX in April of 2020, end of April. I'm going to be speaking at the Paleo FX conference. This is one of the largest conferences in the world. There's going to be about 10,000 people there. And it's such an honor. It is such a privilege and responsibility to be speaking the message of keto, healthy keto at the conference. My talk is going to be all about keto for beginners. I would love to see keto campers represent. I actually have a free, um, a chance for you to win free tickets and hang out with me and get your flight taken care of. I'm going to post that right now in the on YouTube. On Facebook and Instagram, message me and I'll give you that link. But let me get that link for you and you could subscribe to win um, free tickets to Paleo FX. There's about five days less left to do this. I'm going to post it in the chat box right there. So you should see it. Click that button. Um, I'll post it again in case it didn't go through the right way, but click that. So any of you live in Austin, Texas, that's where the conference is going to be. I would love for keto campers to represent, click that button in the chat box. It's a free way to enter to win free tickets. Um, and I'd love to meet you there. I'd love for you to represent paleo FX would be at the end of April and, uh, in Austin, Texas. So I'll be there with my girlfriend. I'd love to meet you all. Um, what if you have no gallbladder? Reyna, I have a video on my YouTube channel, three ways to follow keto without a gallbladder. So go watch that. It could definitely be done. You want to space out your fats. You want to take a supplement with ox bile. You want to eat more bitter rich foods. So you could definitely do it. Go watch that video, Reyna. It'll help you. <laughs> Where's the two thumbs up option? Laugh out loud. You're the bomb. Thank you, Stacy. I appreciate you. Is grazing during the six hour eating window okay? Or is it best to hold out and sit and eat a meal? I'm okay with snacking during your eating window, but if you feasted and ate until full, there would be no need for it, but I'm okay with it, Stacey. I, I do it sometimes. Awesome, man. You deserve it. Thank you, Aiden. I appreciate you. It was great speaking in New Orleans past this past weekend and seeing you and your dad. Oh, we have Fort Lauderdale. So Adriana, I'm going to be giving a free keto lecture tomorrow at Nutrition Smart in Miami Lakes at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So if anybody's in South Florida, it's a free event. I'd love to meet you there. That is 7 p.m. Eastern time at Nutrition Smart in Miami Lakes. We have San Bernardino. Hey, Robert. We have Tucson, Arizona. Um, yeah, just water is what I was saying. Cool. Any last questions for me before I sign off here? I want to make sure I add some value to you. Uh, thank you. You're awesome too, Reyna. We have Las Vegas in the house. Define feasted. Yeah, so what I mean by feasted is you're eating until full. You're having protein and fat with each meal. And you feel damn good. You're, you're full. You, you, your body has these mechanisms in place to know that you're full. You're, you're done eating. So eat one meal till full to remind the body it's not starving. Hey, Carolina, fellow Miami, and I'm here in Miami as well, Bay Harbor Islands. I'll be speaking at Nutrition Smart tomorrow in Miami Lakes at 7 p.m. Eastern time. It's going to be a free keto talk. Any plans for a free talk in Arizona? Kelly, not at the moment, but hey, if there's some low-carb keto events taking place in Arizona and in 2020, mention me, have them reach out to me. I'd love to go there. I have never been to Arizona. I'd love to be there and speak the good word of keto over there. Hey, this is a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I really appreciate you all for spending part of your day with me. Please hit that thumbs up button if you haven't done so already. Hey, share this video with a friend who is doing fasting or they're thinking about doing fasting. It's going to make a big difference for them. And if you'd love help with all of this, head over to ketocampacademy.com, become a member. It's a free seven-day trial. And then when you, when you get activated, it's only about a buck a day to get everything outlined for you and, healthy, um, and monthly health coaching from me. So that's ketocampacademy.com. I'm going to post a link for Paleo FX free ticket giveaway again. So sign up for that, Keto Campers. Um, and I see a couple more questions here. Do all these apply to elder body? Would be great to hear your research on elderly over 65. Love your video. Yeah, Jenny. I mean, it could apply. There are always special considerations for, for different people. I mean, this is, I'm giving you general outlines here, but everybody's different. When it comes to somebody who's over 65, you definitely want to have more protein in your diet. Um, but I'll make some more videos on that. 
and I see that there is Dubai in the house. Thriving Miss Tony from Dubai. Hey, good to see you. Is mixing fat and protein, fats, protein, and carbs in on the dish? The best way to break a fast is with protein and fat. You want to have your carbs later on. That's ideal um, to help with fat burning. Katie says, can you send me a link to VC videos? I haven't fasted. I need to get, yeah, Katie, I'm going to message you today and we'll get you back on track. I got your back. We'll do it. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I had a lot of fun and Kelly, I appreciate you all. YouTube, share this with a friend, hit the thumbs up button. And uh, I'm so grateful. Stay tuned for some more videos coming on uh, later on. So in one dish, that's okay if you do it after you have broken the fast, if it's your second meal, that's fine. Okay, cool. Thank you all so much. I had a great time.